This show is brought to you by Manscaped. Use the code AFTV for 20% off your order and free shipping at manscaped.com. AFTV, Pippa, um, what can I say, 2-0. We, we weren't very optimistic going into the game, but it wasn't a great performance again by Arsenal, was it? It's terrible. Back-to-back -back losses. Another game, another L, and we've got Man City in the league next. The thing is, you come here, first home game of the season, you're not expecting a win against Chelsea. By the moment you get in the stands, you see all the fans here, we hear noise, we're chanting, you're expecting, all right, we might deliver Great, something. Yeah, you think we could do something. First half was terrible. Mm. Second half, we came into a bit more. Kieran Tierney was the only player looking like he wanted to do something, but we was all worried about Lukaku. Premier League debut back at Chelsea, he scores. Mm. We're actually lucky it was only 2-0. And we made it far too easy for them, didn't we? The difference between us is they can ping the ball. It takes about five passes to get from one end to the other. When we're mm. on the ball, we're moving it so slowly. We're not moving the ball. On and off the ball, we're tragic. We're, mm. we're hesitating. Leno, was I was counting each time. It takes about 10 seconds to play the ball out. Mm. Every time we're moving the ball, it's either intercepted straight away. They can read us like a book. But when they're pinging the ball about, if they're playing like left-hand side, one, two, three, four, five. Mm. They had about enough chance in the second half to make that 4 or 5 nil. Is it a case of one team, a work in progress, and another team, obviously, they're the champions of Europe, drilled, well drilled. You know, like you said, they moved the ball quick. They, they knew, every player knew what they were doing. Whereas with us, with us, I didn't get the feeling like a lot of players knew. Yeah. They, they, what, there was no it's pattern of play again, and it? No, it was no, a bit no, like last week. Yeah, it's, the same. it's going to be like this constantly. I know we haven't got the main players we want to have in. Aubameyang's come off the bench. There's players with Ben White's not available. But still, we should have a squad big, good enough to come against the Champions of Europe to do that. Mm. It's, it's shocking. And I'm, I'm lost for words, honestly. If I'm... What needs to be fixed? They've got Thomas Tuchel. We've got Arteta. No disrespect to Arteta. It is a building process and we do have to give him time. Some fans will say that to build the team that he wants to do. But where Mar it looked like he was playing under-15s against under-7s. It was terrible. A lot mm. of things need to be changed. A lot. We've had money spent. Not the players we wanted, but there is changes happening. But and next week <laughs> is a uh, you know it's not. I'm not just talking about Man City. I mean even that West Brom game. Yeah. You know West Brom they've they ain't lost a game yet. I know. Um, this season in the Championship and they're playing very well. They score goals. So we yeah, we haven't we scored score a goal, goal yet, have we? We struggled to score in pre-season. We struggled to score against Brentford. Of course, we're going to struggle to score against Chelsea. They defended so well. Mm. Rob Holding, I was in Mills before, last 10 minutes, had a perfect chance through on goal. Mm. Took too much Holding of a chance. had a header as well, didn't he? Yeah. Like, we had chances, but they defended so well. We can't score. Mm. So Man City is going to be a shit show. West Brom probably will be. So what, <laughs> can you hold out any hope? I'm hoping that, you know, we can stay in the Carabao Cup. We have to beat West Brom away. Mm. But I haven't got any hope against Man City. None at all.